Welcome to my store. Okay, so we're starting up segment three now. Okay. So this is the pineapple that we did yesterday. Oh, yeah. What are you doing with the pineapple? Well, we're going to plant another pineapple like this. That's why there's pineapple what, sitting in Is this a pineapple? That's a pineapple. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Is this the one you planted last year? No. So why did you plant this one? Two years ago. Two years. Yeah, but it's supposed to only take a year and a half to make a pineapple, and I ain't got no pineapple. Maybe if you take it out to the ground. Well, if I put it out summer, oh, uh, I might get a pineapple this summer. Oh, that's going to be great. Chicanos, pineapple. So in other words, taking almost three years to grow a pineapple? Yeah, we live in large. Oh, there's people growing them in their windows. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I read about it in the Toronto Star. Yeah, with the fruit? Yeah. Really? He has an office downtown, high up, south-facing window, no sun being blocked, and he has five or six pineapple plants on the go at any one point in time, and every couple of months he gets another pineapple. How do you plant the pineapple, though? Well, you peel back the leaves, you let it sit out and dry, and then in a couple of weeks, you stick it in the dirt, out in the sun, and it grows. Oh, you don't put it in water to grow roots? Well, those little brown nubs there, see the brown nubs? Okay, let, let those me are get the roots. this straight. I have my pineapple. Yes. Okay, then I'll go and cut it with a knife. Yes. Not a problem. Yes. Okay, and what do I, uh, do then I just leave it in a place dry, or do I put well, it you in peel, water? Well, you peel the stuff back first. Oh, like uh, I take some of the Yeah, stuff you out. take some of those back okay. and then you let it sit and dry in a cool, dry place. It will so that, get rotten. Yeah, that's what you want. You want it to go hard and dry so it doesn't go rotten. Because okay. if you take it while it's still all wet and put it in water, yeah. it'll rot. Oh, okay. Then what do I wait? Until like now? Like it's Another dry? couple of weeks. Another couple of weeks? Yeah, and then you're just going to put it in normal dirt and water it like a normal plant. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're not going to put it in a cup of water or nothing like that. They just put them in rows and uh, cover them in. Well, I have been telling some of my friends, and they're so excited that one, he says he bought one already. Yeah. Like he succeeded with the plant. Yeah. Because they were wondering, how can you plant a pineapple? What do you do? Well, you knew that these pineapples don't have any seeds. Yeah. Did you well, know? What about some pineapples in Guatemala? They have seeds. Yeah, because you have hummingbirds. Did you know that it is illegal to take a hummingbird to Hawaii? Oh, yeah? What? Because hummingbirds fertilize the pineapple plant, okay. and if the pineapple plant is fertilized, it produces seeds. Yeah, like those ones, they're more juicy, oh, yeah. they're white, they're yeah. not yellow, and they have a little black seed. Yeah. Yeah. Can you produce pineapple with those seeds? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. But you see people like pineapples that don't have seeds. Yeah, you see. And the pineapples in Guatemala, you cannot put them in jello. What? Because they'll make your jello go mushy. Pineapples, wild pineapples and non-hybrid pineapples have an enzyme in them that makes it easier for you to digest a pineapple. So nobody could use pineapple in fruit jello. You know how people put fruit into jello? Yeah. Well, you could never use pineapple before. Oh. Now you can. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. But that's because they bred the pineapples to get rid of that enzyme. And now there's some people that used to be able to eat pineapple that can no longer digest it because because it that. doesn't have oh. the enzyme. Okay. So, so you're Guatemalan. Yeah. Just set it there. Oh, okay. So you're Guatemalan pineapple. Yeah. You can't put it into jello. Oh, I didn't know that, but I never did it. Yeah, why well. Sh why should you want jelly pineapple if you can eat the whole pineapple? <laughs> oh, sweetie, when I was a kid, it was the height of fashion to make jello with fruit in it. Yeah. Yeah, people used to make multicolored, multi layered. Uh, you'd put a green and a purple and an orange, and you'd put your different chunks yeah. of fruit. Yeah. Okay, so then this is our baby African tank where they've been in there for. Hey. A month and a bit now. So as you can tell, uh, they've increased considerably in size because these were all the three and a quarter uh, piece specials, and now they're up to like ten buck uh, piece fish. Now on the floor, you will see that these are my new shrimp breeding tanks. These are some other shrimp holding tanks. 
And these are shrimp holding buckets. Okay. See. Yeah, you have some shrimps in that bucket. Well, you see. With no filter, can the can, can the uh, shrimp live with no filter at all? Well, there is a filter in there. Where? Where is the filter? What do you mean? Where's the filter? Yeah, I don't see any filter there. What's that in your hair? What? You had duckweed all through your hair. <laughs> The duckweed that's all in your hair that's dried, when duckweed is alive, it makes a fine filter. Oh, really? Yeah, so the duckweed oh. is the filter, and like this is just a tank set duckweed on the floor. Is the filter there. Duckweed is the filter. It's also a food source because the uh, shrimp eat the biofilm that grows on the plant. Mm -hmm. They also eat any yeah, pieces of algae. Well, you see, I put uh, shrimp in uh, different buckets for different reasons, like these buckets here, there's 10 shrimp in each one of these buckets, okay, there's not 10 in this one yet because I'm still working on it, but as I keep catching adult shrimp, and then when I have 10 buckets full, I take them to the wholesaler and sell them. But is this only for the shrimp or can it be good that we for the fish to serve as a filter? It'll be good Let's for... Let's say you have outside a big pond. Oh, I'll be selling duckweed too. Yeah? Yeah, people buy duckweed for their pond all the time. Oh, okay. okay. For any kind of fish? Um, for any kind of fish, but mostly in ponds for outside. You do it for to shade the water and the goldfish and the koi, they eat it. Because okay. around here... What about the tilapia? Can, can the duckweed tilapia be will eat duckweed. food for tilapia? Oh, yes. As well? Oh, yeah. So the tilapia will reproduce a lot more? Yeah. Everything will reproduce more with live plants around. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I hear that the duckweed is very good at protein. Yeah, it is. Then it's good for to grow, to raise, uh, let's say, for business tilapia. Well, yeah. if I was going to breed tilapia for fun and profit, I would have a system where I would have a big pond just full of duckweed with no fish in it and then I'd grow duckweed in it and then I'd throw the duckweed oh, okay. into the raceways with the fish for them to eat it and it would be acting as the filter in the sump and everything. Yes. There would be a mass... Fish taste better? Yeah. If, uh, well, fish well, that eat a variety of plants and vegetable matter and, and the same stuff. Thing as the whole grain, yeah. Uh, Free-range uh, turkeys taste different pork, than, pork. yeah, yeah. same yeah. thing. Okay. So then here we have two grade A koi in here, okay, and let's wait for them to come out. Um, they're not the biggest, they're just the most expensive. Okay, those Why? ones, you'll see the color. Their color is phenomenal, but right now they're what hiding. Color are they? Uh, it's a soft color orange. It's a different color. Now, let's throw some fish food in there and see if we can get them out. Normally we feed these pellets, but we got flakes right here, so we'll throw that in. Okay. So the koi are coming out now. Nice gold yellow, that uh, one. I'm looking for the expensive... Uh... Mm, apparently he's still hiding. <laughs> okay, there he is. See those two? Okay. okay. The one that's that that right now in the middle of the screen He's right there. That one's 50. And see the one in that back corner there with the soft orange? Right now the two of them are side by side. Okay, see the one there underneath the yellow duck? Just went out. Got the lighter colored, shinier orange. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I see it. Yeah. yeah. Now you see why it's 50. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Different parts the order. Yeah, so this is part, uh, I guess, three.